now when such big changes were going on in education in India, what must have happened to the local schools which were there in India since centuries? It could not have been that India was without schools before the advent of Britishers in India. So what happened to those schools and how they were and what was their condition is another interesting fact. Now on this we have William Adams report which gives us a clear picture of the schools which were there during the pre-British period. In 1830 a Scottish missionary named William Adams toured round the districts of Bengal and Bihar to find out about the status of schools in these areas. Because he had been told by the government of India to give a report on the vernacular education in India. And the report that he gave was very very interesting. He said that there are over 1 lakh patshalas in Bengal and Bihar alone and in each patshala the average number of students is 20. Of course there were 20 lakh students studying in these patshalas. The patshalas were generally started by a wealthy man in the village but sometimes it was also started by a guru. The best thing about these patshalas was that there was no rigidity about education. The system of education was very very flexible. There were no fixed fees, there were no registers, there were no roll calls, there were no books, there were no benches, there were no chairs, there were no classrooms and it was just that the students gathered at a place sometimes even under a banyan tree or in the guru's home or a building, small building which was there and here they sat down to learn whatever the guru taught them. There was no fixed syllabus and thus there was no examination as such. Now everything that the guru taught was oral. There was nothing written about these patshalas. We see that all these students they sat together and learned from the guru there were no different classes like class 3 class 4 5 the children of different levels also sat together and the guru interacted with them in different groups there itself depending upon the level of the student now you must be feeling that it was a very strange kind of education which was there but there were certain positive points about this education and the most important was that the students did not have to attend school every day as there was no attendance. So the poor peasants, farmers, children who could not attend the school during harvest time because they had to help their parents in the fields also had an access to education. That is they worked in the fields during the harvest time and returned back to the patshalas in the other months. So that was the William Adam report about the vernacular system of education in India.